think this might be my Easter dress. You guys, how could I not wear this on Easter? It is so stinking cute. This one, I am obsessed with. I feel like the denim with the white shorts just looks really nice, really classy. Super cute. I actually really like this outfit. Okay, so I did a poll over on the YouTube community tab and you guys chose to see some Easter outfit ideas. So that's what today's video is gonna be. I'm really excited to share some really cute outfits for you guys, some cute looks. And I know that Easter is like this weekend, so I was thinking that you don't necessarily have to have these exact pieces. You can definitely just take some inspiration from this video, go right to your closet, see if you have something similar, and work with what you have. Or if you do see a piece that you really like, I'm definitely gonna try to link down below everything that I can. And if you do see something that you like and you won't be able to get it in time for Easter, keep in mind we have spring and summer right around the corner. You could wear these outfits all through spring and summer. It doesn't have to just be for Easter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started with the first look. You guys, Easter and springtime is the perfect time to start bringing out those dresses. And this one is absolutely adorable. It is from Zessica. They do sell clothing directly on Amazon. I find that their pieces are just so stinking cute. And I'm loving this checkered print dress. It is like beige and white, so keeping it neutral. But how cute are these sleeves with the little ruffle at the end? And it is a longer dress going down closer to the ankles. I think this might be my Easter dress. You guys, how could I not wear this on Easter? It is so stinking cute. I wanted to give you guys a better look at the full dress. I have it paired with some really cute sandals and I'm excited to finally have pulled out my sandals. Definitely gonna be really cute with some spring dresses. Also you guys, I almost forgot to show you the back of this dress. If you can see, it is like cut out at the top with a tie. So stinking cute. So. Definitely love this. If I don't end up wearing this for Easter, I'll be really surprised. But let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the looks. Okay, we have another dress from Zessica. You guys, I thought I liked that last one, but <laughs> this one I am obsessed with. I don't normally go for like a strapless anything, <laughs> but I love this. The top half is that very like stretchy, comfortable material. So it's like fitting. I don't feel like it's going to fall down. I feel very comfortable wearing this. Like I said, flattering, comfortable. At your waist, it's going to start to flow out. This dress is so beautiful. The detailing on this bottom half is very impressive. I'm obsessed with this beautiful like mauve color. I love this. I really want to get this in like multiple colors, you guys. If you're comfortable wearing a strapless dress, I highly recommend this one. How pretty would this be like going to the beach, on vacation? Like I recommend this full on for spring and summer, not even just for Easter. And honestly, if you want it to be a little more covered, like especially for Easter, you could throw on a little cardigan with this and still rock the dress. Super cute. Okay, so again, here's a better look at the full dress. I am really loving this one. Again, the detailing on this dress is very, very pretty. And I have it paired with my sandals. This is the back. Very, very cute. I'm excited about wearing this one. Okay, so we have one last dress from Jessica, and this one is super cute again. I don't have anything like this where it is just one strap going across. I think that's super cute. Again, I feel very comfortable and secure. I love this ivory color. I definitely love my neutrals, so I can totally get a lot of use out of this dress. 
This is also going to be kind of more fitted towards the top, more flowy towards the bottom. I think that's super cute and trendy for spring. I think this would be a great option for Easter. Again, I could just throw on a little cardigan. This is still a longer dress, but I would say it's a tiny bit shorter than the previous dresses, which I love. Another great option for Easter and for the springtime. Again, here is a closer look at that dress. I love it. I love these flowy dresses. I love how they're fitted at the top flowy. I feel like they just really like flatter your waist and I just feel very like cute but comfortable. Guys, that is the most important is to feel comfortable and I feel really comfortable in these dresses. I love this color. I think it's super beautiful. Love the neutral. So let's move on to our next options. Okay, so maybe dresses aren't your thing but maybe you would like a romper. So a cute romper is a great option to wear to Easter. It's also a great option for the springtime and the summertime. It does not have to be this romper that I'm wearing. I have actually multiple rompers and I love rompers because they're so easy to throw on and put together your outfit because it's just one thing, one piece. I am wearing a shorts romper, but you can even wear rompers or jumpsuits with pants. So if you're not quite ready to show off your legs yet, then you could definitely wear a romper that has pants or a jumpsuit with pants. So again, if you're not into dresses or you're just not feeling a dress that day, you can definitely look and see if you have any rompers or jumpsuits. Again, I think rompers are so cute with sandals like I have paired with mine. You could even wear some cute like tennis shoes if you wanted to go like super casual. but. I can definitely link this romper down below for you guys. Again, you don't have to wear this one. Any romper will do. It's just, I think rompers really say like spring and summer. So I think it'd be a cute option to pull out for Easter. Okay, so this next category of options would be more like casual and definitely comfortable. And again, if you're not into the dresses or rompers or don't have those, I'm sure that everybody has a cute top and most likely a pair of denim shorts. I went with this colorful striped sweater and paired it with some denim shorts for many different reasons. <laughs> One, I feel like in the springtime it's not super warm yet, but it's also not too cold anymore. So I kind of have the best of both worlds with wearing a long sleeve with some shorts. You could totally dress this up totally different ways, wear these different ways. You could wear jean shorts with a short sleeve shirt. You could wear it with a tank top. You could wear the sweater with jeans. You could wear the sweater with a skirt. Obviously, you can pair these with so many different items. What's super easy is you can just go to your closet and look for tops if you know you're gonna wear bottoms and you need a top to go along with it. Look for tops that scream Easter to you. So for instance, this sweater to me really was screaming Easter with the colorful stripes, pastel colors, Easter eggs, like all that was giving me those type of vibes. So I think this would be a super cute option. I'm super comfortable. I'm warm. So if it is chilly here in the Midwest, it can get chilly. So I do think a sweater could be a great option. I also picked out a few other pieces from my closet that will work for great tops for Easter as well. I honestly had a lot more options than I thought I would. So let me show you these other shirts that would make for a great outfit as well. If you guys watched a previous haul from me, you've seen this really pretty purple satin shirt. It is super cute. <laughs> I think this would really make a cute option for Easter because it's like that pastel purple and it's lightweight, breathable. So even though it's long sleeve, it's still would be really nice for spring. And then also, this yellow striped shirt. It's got yellow on one side, beige on the other, and again, I think it's very much Easter-like, spring-like. I think it would be super cute. I usually tie it up and pair it with my favorite denim jeans, and this would be a great option as well. This yellow color definitely says Easter to me, so I think that I could not go wrong with either three of these options that I have right here. Now, another thing I want to note is you don't have to wear denim shorts. 
So I want to give you a few other options if you don't really want to wear denim or maybe you just wear denim all the time and you want to look a little bit, you know, dressier, a little bit nicer, kind of just like switch it up for Easter. So let me show you a couple other options that you could do for that as well. If you are brave enough to wear white shorts, or even white pants, they don't have to be shorts. I know I've had a few pairs of white pants over the years, love them. I always like to wear them in the springtime and I've definitely worn them on Easter before. I just think they are really cute for Easter and spring, but white shorts would be a great option. You could pair this with a cute pastel shirt, um, really anything. You pair this with like a denim shirt, which I'm going to show you here soon. Um, so definitely look for some white bottoms if you are comfortable enough to wear them. <laughs> and that could be a great alternative to just your typical blue denim. Okay, and if you're not into the white shorts, maybe you have a pair of colored shorts. So these are definitely like a colored denim. These are like a light pink salmon color. They don't have to be pink. I know they make denim shorts and pretty much every color nowadays but I thought that these would be a cute option especially because of the color and again I think it's a great time to pull out during Easter and springtime so if you want to switch it up from the regular blue denim not into the white shorts definitely pull out your colored shorts you could pair this with a cute white shirt or just anything that matches well and I think you'll be good to go Okay, and then obviously if you're not wanting to wear shorts at all, you could just pick out your favorite blue denim jeans, which I wear all the time, love blue denim jeans, and that would be cute as well. I usually like to go for like a lighter color, especially during Easter and springtime, but you definitely don't have to. So if you don't want to wear some denim shorts, you can wear some denim jeans. And lastly, going along with the colored option, if you don't want to wear shorts, you can wear some colored pants. So again, colored denim. These are like that olive hunter green color, which again would look really cute with like a white top, maybe even a denim top. Check out your pants department. See if you have something colored. I think it'd be a great time to wear it on Easter. I really wanted to show you guys what a denim top could look like, especially paired with these white shorts. I think this is super cute for Easter, super cute for a spring outfit. I feel like the denim with the white shorts just looks really nice, really classy. This shirt, I actually tucked it into my shorts, but I think it's super cute. I think denim and white go really, really well together, especially for Easter, especially for springtime. I wanted to show you guys how cute this denim and white look really is, especially for springtime. Got my favorite sandals. I love this option. So get used out of those denim shirts. Definitely pair it with some white bottoms or colored bottoms and you got a cute little outfit. Okay, I'm really having fun here putting together these looks for you guys. This is going to be the last look of the day. I wanted to show you how you could really elevate your outfit, your look for Easter, and that would be throwing on a blazer. I just so happen to have this really pretty this really pretty pink blazer that I thought would be perfect for Easter and springtime. Again, I still have my white shorts. I'm wearing a bodysuit underneath. Not sure if I would wear this exact one, but you could definitely play around. You could wear a different shirt underneath. I think this is super, super cute. Again, I'm gonna be warm because I have my blazer, but I still look ready for spring with the white shorts. I think it's just a very, like, very pretty business casual type of look. And I have one other idea for how I could really elevate this outfit and really any outfit. So I'm gonna show you guys that in just a second. Okay, so before I show you, just want to show you the whole fit. Again, I have it paired with my favorite sandals. These sandals are by Ugg, by the way. I got these at the Ugg outlet in Chicago or near Chicago, I believe. But so it's super cute, just like this. Okay, but wait until I pull out my little secret weapon. Okay, you ready? It's the wedges. <laughs> so I threw on some really cute nude wedges. They are my favorite wedges because they're super easy to walk in and they're very comfortable. Obviously you don't have to wear wedges. You could wear regular heels. 
if you are a heels girl but I think these are super cute and really just like elevate the outfit I feel like it makes it look way more nicer and like stylish if you're going to like a nice Easter brunch and you want to dress up and wear your heels then you can throw these on especially if they're like neutral you could wear these with so many outfits you could wear wedges heels with a dress with a skirt I really like it with the shorts and the blazer I just think it really looks cute just to give you a better look sorry my mirror is dirty but super cute I actually really like this outfit might not wear it for Easter but definitely for the springtime like this would be such a cute little girls day out little brunch with your friends definitely with the wedges makes it super cute okay guys that's gonna be all for today's video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some inspiration for outfit ideas for what you're gonna wear for Easter and also just springtime summertime um, I really had fun putting together these looks I will link everything that I can down below for you guys if you would like to shop any item that I showed you here today but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next one bye